Good morning. Thank you for watching. Another beautiful Lord's Day. Uh, man, it's pretty out here today. Sun is shining. I expect it's going to start raining sometime today, but it's very nice right now. Kind of warm. Uh, we thank God for our weather and our, our beautiful days that we've had. And, and uh, so uh, hope everybody's got a chance to enjoy it. Uh, today we're going to uh, be talking a little bit about our sick folks. Uh, uh, we still need prayers for Brandon Swartz and Kay Barrett, Nikki Alonzo, David Thomas, and Brenda Elkins, Ricky King, and Ronald Moss, uh, and Lynn Baskin. Uh, also, uh, have a friend that uh, we need to remember, uh, Daphne Anderson. She's got uh, her husband's my friend, and uh, his wife Daphne has uh, cancer, and we need to pray for her. Uh, also, uh, a friend of mine, Henry Clarity, his wife Linda's having some health issues. Uh, also, I've, I've got an aunt that uh, has been sick and in the hospital this week, and uh, we need prayers for her. Um, so pray for all of those uh, that are having health issues, uh, and there's a lot of folks right now. Uh, this morning, we're going to be talking a little bit about the tongue uh, and words. Um, so, uh, God tells us in his word that the tongue has incredible power. We can use our tongue to bring blessings or, and, and life or curses and death. The saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me, is simply not true. Our, tong our tongues can be the most difficult thing to control and leave us in with great regret uh, if we use our words to hurt. There is hope. The Bible tells us that with the help of the Holy Spirit, we can have power and control over our tongue. Uh, you know, the tongue and words we use uh, are, are very powerful. Uh, they can leave uh, damage for a long time. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little story that I heard uh, some years back. It's a story about a father, a son, a nail, a hammer, and a fence post. And uh, so the, the little, little boy, uh, he had been saying bad things to people, and his dad told him, he said, Son, every time you come home and you've said something bad to somebody, that day, you take that hammer and a nail and go drive it in that fence post over And the old boy said, all right. So he started doing that. And man, that fence post was filling up. He's got nails in it everywhere. So uh, one day, the old boy, he finally got tired of hammering them nails in that, in that fence post. And he decided, you know, I, I need to quit this. I need to quit saying these bad things to people and hurting their feelings and everything. He said, I need to do better. He said, uh, uh, I'm gonna, every day that I say something good to somebody, he said, I'm going to come back and, and pull one of them nails out. So uh, he started doing that. You know, he'd, he'd come home and, and he'd done good that day and he'd pull a nail out. You know, and the next day he'd come home, um, he said something good to somebody and he'd pull, that, pull another nail out. Pretty soon he got every one of them nails pulled out. So he went and got his dad and he was pretty proud of himself. He said, Dad, look look what I've done. He said, I started doing good, and I started talking good to people and, and not hurting their feelings. And his dad said, yeah, that's a good thing. I'm glad you've done that, but, but look at that fence post. And the uh, fence post is just standing there, and it's full of holes. He said, every time you said something bad to somebody, it left a hole. It left a, it left a hurt. It left something there. And he said, you know, it's like, like this, you got, this is somebody drove a nail in them. You know, you said something bad to them, you hurt their feelings. You know, you come back and you take it back and you, what do you got left there? You know, they may tell you that, you know, I forgive you and go on, but you got a hole there. They, you've left a memory on those folks. And it might not be a good memory. And uh, no matter what you do, more than likely they're going to still remember what you've done to them and what you said to them. Even though they may forgive you, 
they're still going to remember that sometimes. And that's a bad thing. Uh, you know, we're supposed to forgive and, and forget. Uh, sometimes it's hard to do that forgetting. Uh, we should always forgive. But that's, uh, that's something that we need to think about before we say those bad things. Uh, and I know it's hard when you're in the, in the heat of battle with someone, you know, it's hard not to say something bad. It's just, it's a hard thing to do. That's the sin nature that we have, but we need to overcome that, you know, and we can, if we've got the Holy Spirit in us, if we're Christians and we've got the Holy Spirit, you know, the Holy Spirit, we need to listen to what it tells us. You know, we, we need to calm down and hold our tongue, you know, and, uh, it's the tongue is like a fire you know it can set the world on fire you know a lot of wars have been started over words uh we we need to think about our words real serious before we uh say them and hurt somebody's feelings because it may never may never uh, be healed that's my lesson for today i hope you get something out of that uh thank you for watching and please keep all the sick like i mentioned in your prayers uh, please pray for our servicemen and women and our first responders and our uh, doctors and nurses and the folks that take care of us. Um, thank you for watching. God bless and have a good week and see you next time.